I'm interested in nature, but also specifically in how humans study it. I've got lots of books on kind of botany and ornithology and anatomy, that kind of thing. I really like systems and diagrams and how we've represented them to sort of try and make sense of it. So I love drawing to scale or with arrows and kind of flowing diagrams and that sort of thing. All of it's figurative in the sense that I don't really make anything up. I would represent something true to scale, look at a specific feather formation or take a plant that binds and try and make it into a design that would wrap around something in its repeat. Nature's never just attractive, there's always something else going on, so there's a reason why a plant looks like it does, because it's trying to attract something to it so it can pollinate itself, so it can reproduce. It's not just pretty so that we can pick it and put it in our house. I like the idea of combining the fact that it's aesthetically attractive with the fact that it's interesting. And that might not necessarily come across immediately when you look at the design, but it might be something that you notice later or might not ever notice, but it's usually there. I always have an idea of what colour I want it to be to start off with and then it's kind of a process of just mixing it up and trying different things and seeing what works with the design. You can do as many colours as you want with screen printing but obviously the more you do the more difficult it becomes so simplifying it kind of highlights the process because you can see more easily that there's kind of one layer and then two layers. Whereas if you have many layers, it can look sort of almost like it wasn't handmade because it's so detailed. I really need restrictions in my work because otherwise there are too many possibilities. Like looking at menu when it's too big, you don't really know what to choose. I find nature really fascinating. I love kind of nature programs and reading about things. I'll quite often decide on a topic and then read up on it and in that I will learn more about it and that just kind of enhances my interest in it. Both, both my parents are teachers so I guess education's kind of always been there and I have a real kind of interest in still learning about lots of different things. Doing the designs that work the way I do keeps me kind of continually interested because I'm not just trying to think of something pretty. But I, I love the detail and the intricacy and that sort of fascinates me, which is I think why I'm drawn to diagrams and like detailed ways of explaining the world. I think my interest is in the detail and the function of something and the way something works. That doesn't really fit with an abstract representation. It fits with kind of a more sort of figurative, diagrammatical representation. So I think that's why I'm naturally drawn to working like that. I definitely get drawn into things like looking at a flower as a whole is beautiful in its own right, but then when you go in and look at the stamen and how it's all sort of put together, when you zoom in it doesn't it almost doesn't look like a flower anymore, it looks like a sort of alien. I really like the differences that you get between each print, so no print is the same. It's quite easy to say that each print is individual and you wouldn't necessarily notice initially, but if you look closer, the alignment is slightly different or how hard you've pushed the ink through the screen will vary, so there'll be different sort of coloration depending on where the squeegee is on the screen. You just know instinctively when you look at a screen print that it has been handmade. I think happiness is definitely something that I'm trying to convey. I want to create things that people will enjoy.